King Charlemagne, one of the greatest figures in the history of the universe. He expanded the Frank Kingdom into an empire, and he unified Europe. Today, he is known as one of the greatest figures in European history, and some even call him the father of Europe. This is his story. Hello, my name is Morgan Freeman. You may remember me from such films as March of the Penguins, Bruce Almighty, and The Big Bounce. Today I'm here to narrate Charlemagne's story. Let's begin. To the Batmobile. Let's go. Atomic batteries to power. Turbines to speed. Roger. Ready to move out. Pippin the Short was a great leader of the Frank Kingdom. He had two sons, Charlemagne and Carloman. One day he unexpectedly died in the hands of his son Charlemagne. No! Charlemagne and his brother were now in competition for the keys to the kingdom. But one day, Carloman died of a mysterious illness in the hands of his brother. <laughs> this left Charlemagne the entirety of his father's kingdom. Now, the, the death of Carloman, uh, it, it kind of opened the door for, for Charlemagne to establish his empire and uh, kind of enforce his way of rule. And, you know, for the longest time, he, he sided with the Pope. And this led the Pope to uh, give Charlemagne uh, some, a great deal of power, which is basically unprecedented in the history of the world. So, I don't know. Charlemagne was set up for, for great things, and, and great things he indeed did do. Charlemagne used the full extent of his powers to destroy his enemies. Italy, France, Germany, Saxonia, and others. <laughs> Charlemagne was responsible for uniting Europe. Yeah. Now as, uh, as Charlemagne started conquering Europe, um, he imposed a, a death penalty on those who refused to be baptized. And, you know, that, that went over slightly well. Uh, but then came the massacre of Verdun. What a horrible thing. You Saxonians, you need to be part of Christianity. You need to be baptized. No. Ah! Uh, what are you doing? How dare you resist me? I'm gonna light y'all on fire. Charlemagne then set fire to the city of Verdun. <laughs> Verdun was burned to a crisp. After the massacre of Verdun, Charlemagne engaged in a bloody conflict with the Saxons. After his conflict with the Saxons, the Romans decided to take advantage of the fact that he was no longer in their territory and abducted the Pope. Oh no, I've been abducted by the Romans. Someone help me. Mr. Pope! Oh, me Charlemagne. Charlemagne! Yes! We, we need to get out of here, the Romans are coming! Oh my goodness! No, don't no worry, you're my savior! Go on, get up! Okay. Go on, let's go! Oh. <laughs> go on! Let's get up! <laughs> we can do this! Thank you for saving me. <laughs> I'm now naming you the Emperor of Rome. Charlemagne was now the most powerful man in Europe. Tragically, he died of a disease of pleurisy. Ironically, he was buried on the same day of his death. Hush! Shin! Hush! Shin! Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> the citizens wept. Mm -hmm. One. Oh, oh. I'll do this later. Just setting up on my Charlemagne while I worked worked on my Megan Green machines. Charlemagne created many monetary, education, church, and writing reforms. He abandoned the gold standard. He preserved the gold sou, started by his father, Pepin the Short. It consisted of shillings, pounds, and pennies. He increased the provision of many monetaristic schools. Charlin basically had the great manly features I've always wanted. He did, but I don't know, he didn't coach freshman year soccer, and that's one of my biggest accomplishments, but he did do many great, great things. And, and all in all, I love Charlemagne. In the end, Charlemagne was best known for unifying Europe, spreading Christianity, and being named Emperor by Pope Leo. This has been another documentation by me, Morgan Freeman. <laughs>